This video has been sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Bit of a problem with the uh, clapper board, haven't fixed that yet, so uh, we'll have to go without that one for now. Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here from the Retro Future. I have recently picked up another Toys R Us Game Boy. I'm on a bit of a roll with those at the moment. Um, I picked this one up a little while ago. This is the yellow uh, Toys R Us Game Boy Lite. It's a fairly rare edition. They do come up quite often. There's a few on eBay at the moment. They sort of sit around the $400 mark. I picked up this one for a while ago for $50. I'll put the uh, video up in the card if you want to check it out. It's missing the battery cover, um, but besides that, it's in pretty decent condition. I also like this one. This is the Emerald Game Boy Pocket. If you want to hear me talk more about this, there's a card up in the corner for my second channel video, which is talking about this Game Boy because this is my favorite Game Boy of all time. It's a beautiful Game Boy. It's not the same color green as the regular green Game Boy Pocket. This is called the Emerald Green Game Boy Pocket. And it's got a fair few differences to other Game Boy Pockets. It's really cool. And recently, as I said, I picked up this one, which is the uh, green Game Boy Color from Toys R Us. And I picked this up for just under, just over $50, which is half of the going rate of these things. These things usually sell for around $80 to $120 on, the, on their own, just console only. And there's boxed copies online for over $600. So fairly decent price. It has got a little uh, ding in the corner here which we're gonna to have to check out when we open it up a bit more. Doesn't look like the uh, structure's actually gonna be um, damaged, but it does look somewhat like it's gonna be a pretty permanent feature on this Game Boy. But besides that, it's got quite a bunch of stickers on it. This is just gonna be a super chilled, laid back OG Let's Refurb, which is one of the series that I started this channel on. So uh, what I can quickly do is show you the fact that it works, uh, which is, cool obviously for me but from an ent entertainment perspective it's not as ideal there we go i just put the game in uh, a couple times i'm not going to be modding this one of course there we go oh okay buttons don't work <laughs> just as i said it doesn't work or it's just as i said it does work sorry it doesn't work start button ain't working I'm really, really pressing that hard. Can you see that there? And nothing. So, we do have a little bit of a repair to do. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and just strip it apart and crack on with the refurb.
after removing all of the stickers from the body of the Game Boy, I noticed that there was some damage on the screen lens. I'm not sure if that was due to my process of removing the stickers or if it was already there. Either way, I decided to remove the old lens. Now, I know there is going to be a bunch of people in the comments saying, oh, but now it's not original. Don't worry, you'll see what I do in a second. I'll give everything a final wipe down. Being that it's a transparent Game Boy, it's important to make sure the inside looks just as good as the outside. Also, it's a good idea to take some isopropyl alcohol to the button contacts and just remove the sort of shiny surface from it. That will make sure that you have a much more reliable button press in the future. Now I can put all of the stuff back inside the Game Boy and we're almost ready to put it all back together. It's really important for my case that I give the start and select a really thorough clean as that's what was not working to begin with. Time to put the screen and the motherboard back in place and screw everything in. This video has been sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Are you tired of trying to find new shows on Netflix? <laughs> Have you been scrolling for the past hour, desperately trying to entertain yourself? <laughs> Are you trying to distract yourself from the world's issues and your conscience telling you to reach into that box of 48 cream eggs you bought because you hate yourself? <laughs> well, Surfshark can help. Surfshark VPN isn't just used to protect you when connecting to public Wi-Fi, but can be used to unlock extra region-locked content on sites such as Netflix. Surfshark VPN encrypts your personal information and sends it via a secure VPN tunnel. Essentially what that means is you connect your device via their app to one of their 1,040 servers anywhere in the world. Your data is sent via that server encrypting it on its journey to that dodgy fast food Wi-Fi. Connecting yourself to a Russia server, for example, would now trick any website you visit into thinking you're in Russia. Meaning you can finally watch all of your favorite Russian shows. Big thank you to those guys for sponsoring this video. Visit surfshark.deals forward slash TRF and use code TRF for 83% off, which is ridiculous. And uh, also they're giving you one month free as well. So check out the link in the description below and use code TRF. That is gonna wrap up this video. I really hope you have enjoyed. You would have seen that I did a bit of a lens swap out. This lens isn't like completely spotless and brand new, but it is still an original one. I just took it off of a, uh, a Game Boy that I planned to do something to in another video. But yeah, what do you guys think of this? I absolutely adore this color. I'm not entirely sure what it's specifically called, maybe jungle green or something, but I know that it's the Toys R Us Game Boy Color. There was another few different variants that Toys R Us released of the Game Boy Color. There was an, an ice blue, if I remember correctly. There was also a midnight blue, I think. So yeah, they're really cool as well. I don't know if they're as rare as this one, but I will try and find them so I can add them to my collection. But yeah, let me know what you think of this video. I sort of got both best of both worlds, hopefully, having a bit of these sort of uh, ASMR enjoyable uh, sounds, but also having my normal music and voiceovers combo. So let me know what you think. The start button obviously works absolutely perfectly now. All of the buttons work fine. Speaker is nice and loud. 
And yeah, I'm just really overall happy with how it's turned out. Follow me on Twitter so you can get some more sort of behind the scenes and updates before I post videos. And uh, check out my Patreon as well to support the channel. Link to that will be in the description below. I hope you're all staying safe. Look after yourselves and your families. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye.